With the imminent arrival of Doctor Doom and the threat of the multiverse's destruction, only Marvel's darkest Avengers could unite to save their worlds. What happens when those who have lost everything must unite to prove that they are still the heroes needed? In the past few years, we have seen the destruction of that team that saved humanity so many times. I'm not just talking about the Avengers, but also the X-Men in their respective universes. It seems that both teams have become shadows of what they once were in the past. But this could be about to change. As the threat of Doctor Doom, more than a threat for a movie, represents a threat to the entire existence of the Marvel Multiverse. Doctor Doom will not only have the ability to destroy his own reality, but he will also be able to threaten and destroy other iconic Marvel movie realities, such as the X-Men, Spider-Man, Venom, and the Avengers. Secret Wars has the potential to show us the villain in its most dangerous version of all time, and this time, it brings back a familiar and beloved figure, the image of Tony Stark under the mantle of Doctor Doom. The image that represents hope will end up corrupted by the influence of one of the most intelligent and cruel villains they have ever faced. What happens when the face of hope becomes the face of destruction and the end of time? With every threat that appears in the Marvel Universe, a hero of equal strength will rise up to face it but this time it's the turn of three dark versions of characters we've always loved. Heroes who may have lost everything, but will have to save the multiverse. In this video, we'll be talking about the three dark Avengers who will face Doctor Doom. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting this video, I invite you to participate in the new giveaway we will be having in this channel, where we will be giving away the first volume of Scarlet Witch by Steve Orlando, a story that will mark the future of the Marvel Universe. To participate, all you have to do is comment which is your favorite moment of the Marvel Universe. The winner will be announced on November 30th. The first Dark Avenger on the list is a mutant who will also be worthy but could become the most powerful version of herself, Storm with Thor's hammer. Storm is one of the most powerful mutants of the X-Men. This mutant could be key in the fight against a version of Doctor Doom who wants to destroy the multiverse. The trailer for the third season of What If showed us a version of Storm carrying Thor's hammer, a version that, although it is not the same as the one we saw in the Fox movies, could be the one who accompanies the Avengers to face Doctor Doom. Born as Aurora Monroe, Storm is a mutant with the ability to control the weather. She is considered one of the most powerful mutants. Although in the Fox Universe movies, we never saw her using her full potential. The case of Storm is similar to that of Wolverine. Their big screen versions fell short compared to their comic book counterparts. This is partly because many characters Storm interacts with or faces in her stories, were not part of the Fox universe. Now that Storm is coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she will begin to get more of a starring role. In the latest What If trailer, we could see that this one concludes with Storm taking Thor's hammer, proving not only that she is worthy, but possibly the most powerful version of Storm ever. An Omega mutant who also has the powers of the God of Thunder. In the comics, the version of Storm known as Skybreaker, who carries the hammer, possesses the abilities of a cosmic entity as powerful as the best version of Thor we've seen in the movies. This means that the odds are very high that this version of Storm will be the one we see in Secret Wars. It is possible that this Storm with the hammer arrives to fight Doctor Doom, and what if could be just the basis to show us the collision between worlds. Since in the end, each what if represents a universe, and these universes are about to collide. However, being that we are likely to see a version of the Dark Avengers taking on Doctor Doom, it could perhaps be a storm who loses the hammer, ceases to be worthy, and needs to become worthy again. Perhaps a storm who lost all the X-Men, 
but must save the multiverse. Remember that the idea of the Dark Avengers stems from the fact that in the Deadpool and Wolverine movie, both Deadpool and Wolverine were the worst in their universes, but were the best at being able to save the multiverse. And I think this is an element that is going to be repeated. This brings us to the second character that I think could take on Doctor Doom. I'm talking about number two, God Loki. This Loki didn't get to lose his life at the hands of Thanos, but he did manage to sacrifice himself for the multiverse. Loki's ending left many people really wondering what happened to this character, as we saw him from a throne touching multiple timelines. I believe that when Doom begins to destroy part of the multiverse, it will be at that moment that the cosmic Loki, or the new He Who Remains, will realize that he needs help and create a new version of the Avengers, ones that are willing to do whatever it takes in order to defeat Doctor Doom. This Loki has the abilities to travel through time and between multiverses. First, he could be an observer type who tries to assemble this team of Avengers and realizes that perhaps the most effective Avengers to accomplish this will have to be the darker Avengers, but in the end he will have to join them. I think this Loki has a lot of potential and seeing him face a cosmic Doctor Doom could be a reality. But I don't think Loki can beat him. Only a mutant has the power to face this new cosmic threat. Wanda Maximoff the Scarlet Witch was one of the most beloved Avengers, but she allowed herself to be corrupted by the Darkhold, and then traveled the multiverse ending the lives of innocents and heroes. The last thing we knew about Wanda was that she supposedly lost her life, but was not shown on screen, and recently different news reports affirm her return. When Wanda supposedly dies in the story, energy effects can be seen. Perhaps it wasn't Chaos's own energy that we saw, but it was energy from Doom rescuing the Scarlet Witch. Now what is the path for the Scarlet Witch? And why do some think she will team up with Doctor Doom? Rumors have also mentioned that the Witch is trying to reverse the effects of the Darkhold on the universes. It is possible that when she destroyed the Darkhold, she not only wiped out the book, but caused a crisis in the multiverse that eventually triggered the battles between the universes where Doom wishes to win. I believe that the Scarlet Witch's actions directly affected Doom's universe. And perhaps Doom rescued the Scarlet Witch just before she lost her life. To help him not only destroy the enemy universes, but to create a single reality. It is possible that Wanda, seeing Doctor Doom's face, remembers Tony Stark. And at first she is his ally, because she thinks he is doing the right thing. But in the end, Wanda must reveal herself against Doctor Doom as she did against Ultron. In the end, we could have the most powerful Avenger back, facing the most dangerous variant of Tony Stark, Doctor Doom. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Will these be the three Dark Avengers teaming up to take on Doctor Doom? Or do you think we'll see a different team? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on. The Oasis Geek.